Hey guys, just wanted to get a quick video out there showing everyone how they could make a wireless setup from their PC flying a simulator to their Fat Shark goggles. Um, I know some on this site um, have posted this before or pictures but have not shared any details uh, which I will absolutely uh, do today. So real quick, um, the first thing and the most critical item is this um, HDMI to 3RCA adapter. So it's HDMI to composite video. And you can pick this up um, at Micro Center. And actually I've seen them online. So I may just be taking this one back and getting, getting one off of Amazon. I think Amazon had them for like $15. I was in a hurry. I wanted to get this set up and tested. So I just ran over to Micro Center and grabbed this. But this is critical, which is this component right here. So what you want to do from your PC, HDMI port, you see this cable right here going to the back of the computer, coming out and going into the adapter, or converter I should say. And then you can use an old flight controller, if you will, if it has video on board, or you can just go find a, an older VTX. Um, and then wire that up uh, directly to this uh, adapter. What's critical though is this video video cable right here. Wiring, whether you're wiring it to an all-in-one like this or to a separate VTX, you'd absolutely want to make sure, and this is what was difficult to figure out, is there's a center center cable that comes out that goes to your video and then what looks like shielding or wires wrapped around that cable you want to wire that to ground so that would be wired to your video transmitter or a flight controller all in one board like this once you do that essentially you will apply power from this cable to uh, from a USB port from the computer as you can see this is going to a the back of the computer here sorry for the video kind of crappy but essentially you're plugging that in and this cable is included with the adapter it goes right in the side that supplies power I've got my set on PAL right now most of the flight controllers out there um, will accept either PAL or NTSC I've got my set on PAL. So that gets wired into the box or plugs into the box. Okay. And then if you can find a, a flight controller like this where it's all in one, pretty easy to do. You just supply a 3S um, or 2S power to the board. And that'll drive um, the video transmitter. And of course, this is a uh, cable with an antenna. But the video is great coming right off the PC. Um, literally zero lag. I was able to use my Fat Shark HD ones and then pull video directly onto them. And um, yeah, real happy with it. I think this is definitely the way to go. No more cables. Um, especially on the Fat Shark, they have the the port, which is pretty cool, and you can go directly from this port um, directly to the PC from a, basically HDMI to mini HDMI, and it works okay. But not having that cable there, being able to move around freely, because I like to stand when I fly, so it's a little bit easier for me. But um, yeah, the only other thing I want to do is maybe put this in a maybe print up a uh, 3D print up a little box and put a fan to blow on the uh, transmitter because it does get pretty hot. I know at some point it's probably going to just uh, shut down on me, but um, be aware of that. Maybe put it on 25 milliwatt. Some of your uh, video transmitters out there can handle it no problem and won't, won't need any cooling, but this one I, I think is going to need some cooling. So anyway guys, just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, any questions, uh, let me know. And I'm also going to put links to the uh, to this converter and um, 
try to put any other information I, I feel that's pertinent. Okay, thanks guys.